Hi. We look very serious, I'm sorry. Uh, so this is the final week of Fiber Gifts for 20, technically 2019, but we're in 2020 now. Um, oh my gosh, Happy New Year, yay! Uh, so we are going to show you something together because we have quite the treat in this final Fiber Gift box. What do you say? Okay, <laughs> open it up. An arrangement of things in here. Um, so it's gonna take us a minute to get through them, but I think it'll be worth it because we're gonna go through kind of just a quickie little thing on each one of these things. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. And just so you guys know, uh, each of these individual things that we're about to talk about are, um, the prices will vary. They're all on sale, but the sales depend. So just go to each one of their individual pages and check them out. Uh, and where can they see all of these books together on our website? Yes, I can. Yes, so we can, and we can see them on the Fiber Gifts page itself. And that'll be on um, the, the big header at the top of the website, of course, and that'll have all of the previous things that we've done this year as well. So if you wanna see the whole collection, you can go there. Um, but let's start with just this one uh, that I have right here. Ta -da! So we're doing books, yay! And we have quite a few books in here, and we're gonna take turns and talk about them just briefly. Um, this one is the, the Secret Lives of Color. This is by Cassia St. Clair. Uh, and this is a really neat book. Um, it's actually about the history of colors, all kinds of different colors, um, just literally all kinds of different colors. Every color you can imagine is in here. And it's just about the history of them, where they got their names, things like that. So not only is it a really neat educational text, it is as well just like a really cool like coffee table book. If you want to beef up your knowledge for trivia night, this might be a way to do it. So that is my first book. How about yours? All right, Ma, the second book is going to be The Complete Book of Rug Hooking. I enjoy this book because I do rug hook. It shows certain techniques. It shows certain ways to do uh, shading in different types of leaves or any kind of animals or eyes. It's just a really good comprehensive guide on rug hooking. So highly recommend. All righty, and book number three, back to me, I guess, is going to be Natural Color by Sasha Dewar. I hope I said her name correctly. Um, this one is a, let's read the little tippy top here, a vibrant plant dye projects for your home and wardrobe. So this is a natural dye book. And it's gonna go through the processes of several different types of natural dyes. Um, so it's actually broken down kind of into um, not only you know the process of it all, but also individual um, uh, different things that you can use. You know, Osage Orange and avocado pits and things like that. So it'll tell you the process for individual types of natural dyes that you can use. So very nice book, really pretty to look at too. Fourth book. Fourth. Fourth book, this one's going to be The Art of Weaving. And as every weaver knows, you need the hard book to look at the drafts. And the amount of drafts that they have in here explaining the weaves and different types of drafts, designs, and different pieces of weaving that people have done. I think it's a great book and it's nice to keep in your uh, weaving library. A must. Yet another book, Yarnworks by W.J. Johnson. Uh, I always have to search for the name, sorry. Um, this is kind of a walkthrough of a couple of different things. This is how to spin, dye, and knit your own yarn from fiber to item. So this is going to take you through the whole process of, you know, taking your fiber and getting it into the spinning phase and then into the dyeing phase and then into the knitting phase. So there's a lot to be seen in this book. Um, it's also, again, beautifully illustrated. All the ones that we have here today are actually really pretty to look at. So um, I find that extremely important in a book as a person who is easily distracted by things. Uh, gotta have something really nice to look at. So this is a really nice little one to work through. And we had an odd number of books. I didn't have another book, but I will say we got a new knitting uh, instruction workshop coming up in January. You should look at the classes. Hey, hey. Right. So that actually ties into not only what we were just talking about, but the next one as well. This is Alter Knit by Andrea Rangel, which has a she has a cool last name, I like that name. Uh, but this is a stitch dictionary, as you can see, 200 modern knitting motifs. So what this is, is just a big, beautiful book of knitting patterns, knitting things to look at, graphs, swatches, etc. All this beautiful stuff, and it's actually really cool. Um, it's 
appeals to my dreams as a weaver because I love drafts and just looking at drafts. So if you like that and you're a knitter, this is like the ultimate dream for you. Uh, so it'll give you color suggestions and things like that. And as well, blah, 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 in the back, let's get to the fun stuff. It'll give you patterns for garments and things like that as well in the back. So you can see kind of your, your whole process here. But I really, really love the motif thing in here. Look at this, this is so pretty. Uh, so another just really lovely book. Um, and also very useful. It's a really nice thing to just keep as a reference material in your studio. Hi there! This is me from the future. Uh, take a short break from what I was just saying a moment ago. Uh, two of the books that we initially chose for this fiber gift deal are now, unfortunately, out of print. Um, we don't know if that's forever, but that does mean that they can't be safely part of the deal that we're doing because uh, then you wouldn't be able to get them, which is not the point. So uh, we have chosen two new ones, and so now this is me from the future going to show you those two right now. So the first one that I have is Vanishing Fleece by Clara Parks. She is um, a really fun little lady, uh, and we had uh, uh, an event and actually got to see her speak. She was a lot of fun. Um, but aside from that, this is a really fun and interesting book as well. Basically, this is a nonfiction sort of um, prose sort of read uh, about her adventure across America and looking at things, um, you know, processing fleeces and uh, how things turn into yarn and how fiber is sourced and things like that. It's just a lot of fun and her experience with that and how it all goes down and her thoughts and, you know, everything that went on there. So that is what this book is, Vanishing Fleets. Very interesting read. And then we have Painting with Wool with Danny Ives. She has my name, so you automatically know that it's a great book. Uh, I actually really like this book because uh, it's, number one, it's really cute to look at just from the outside, which I really like. Uh, and I'm, uh, I think all spinners and weavers and felters and rug hookers and everybody are magpies and we just like things that are pretty to look at. So <laughs> it's very easy to like this book. Um, but it's also just full of really lovely uh, projects for one, but also just like a really wonderful comprehensive guide to needle felting in general. Um, there's lots of really neat technique stuff in here, which I really enjoy. Uh, it's just written really clearly and comprehensively and I really like it. So this is another really lovely book that you should check out. Um, so yeah, just check those little guys out and then we'll go right back to what we were just talking about. So that is what we have on offer. Ugh. One more. Check out the books for which you won't be disappointed one at all. Uh, so check right them all out. They're all different prices as we mentioned. This is going to be on sale on? January 3rd. January 3rd. Check so, it out. Check them out. And with that, I think it is time once more to say goodbye just for a little while. Um, so we're technically in 2020 now, so it won't be next year that we see you, it'll be later this year. But um, yeah, we'll see you back in the holiday season in this year. And we'll have a bunch of new items, so take a look at us. Never know what we're going to come up with, so. Never know. Amy and I, we'll see you later. We'll be back. Bye. Bye.